Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad. With it used to be Synergy Cafe. I'm going with the new vibe now, if you can see it right. There it is, the Magic Brad Show. Yes, I'm branding myself over and above my Synergy Ventures and Synergy Collaborative and Synergy Lifestyle Academy and Synergy Cafe. It's all about me now. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've done this because out of uh, consultation with my coach and also... I believe that the best way to be known, liked, and trusted is to put yourself out there. I've been doing that over the years, but I've been kind of, I guess, hiding behind the Synergy brand. And not really hiding behind, but I think I put the Synergy brand forefront, and I have decided to put me forefront. That way, if that Synergy brand ever disappears, I'm still here. So I'm going to be with you until I'm six feet under. Or they might even bury me in a shallow grave. I don't know. I don't know. So I hope you're doing good. Um, I'm using a new platform now. It's called StreamYard. And uh, I'm still learning on how to implement my logo and all my other things on there. Um, so it's an, it's an interesting platform. It works a little bit, a little differently. Um, there's some ways of putting your comments up there and stuff that show. And I'll, I'll learn that as I go through. I kind of like this also because I can see a timer on here. I've been on for a minute and 32, three, four, five seconds. And um, the reason I jumped on this is because I like that it's simple, unlike Zoom, and I like keeping things simple. Kiss, keep it super simple. Um, it still gets the job done. I get to broadcast where Zoom, it's it's nice, but it's got all these check boxes in the back office to make sure this does that and that does this and that does this. If you want that to do this at this time, too much. I'm just looking to communicate. So using StreamYard now, and that's where I'm going to start shooting my shows. And uh, I also keep things very simple. I don't have a complicated studio. I use my laptop computer. Or I think StreamYard's uh, allowing now fa uh, phones. So I may be doing it through my phone. I don't have a fancy microphone. I just use my little Apple earbuds as a microphone right here. So can you hear me? Check one, two. Check one, two. It works good. Works fine. And then when I do live interviews after the COVID thing, um, I've got a little splitter microphone, and that way each individual gets their own microphone. And then I've got an extension cable that goes out four or six feet so we can have some distance. So I keep things really, really simple. I don't have a switcher and all that kind of stuff. And that's kind of why I like this StreamYard platform is it allows me to do that kind of thing, some switching and bringing people on and such. So. Let me grab my phone. One second. Ooh, stretch. Grab my phone and see if where I am on Facebook. I've been having challenges with Facebook with my iPhone. I think it's because it's the older one. But um, it might just be that Mark Zuckerberg's trying to catch up with me or something, huh? <laughs> so I don't know that I see it right here. There's my profile. Oh, there it is. Okay. See what's what's happening here with my you can't see it, but I'll zoom it so it doesn't work. You can't really see it because of the glow on my camera there, but it doesn't show my cover photo. I'm having some issues with my phone, so I might have to upgrade. But it is happening here. Right there. You can't see it, but it's it's really happening. <laughs> And so the things I want to talk about, some things I read this morning, that um, the big brands, the Coca-Colas and things like that, they're pulling off of Facebook with their ads. And the reason is they end up having to pay for the ad and then they see the results. And what a lot of people are doing, ironically, because it's the industry that I've shifted into or the method, is affiliate marketing. And my clock is going off here. My clock right there. My grandfather's clock. Can you hear that? Bong, bong, bong. <laughs> affiliate marketing is where there's an affiliate like me. I represent a brand and I try and put that brand in front of a prospective customer. When that customer makes a purchase, that's when the brand pays me. So it's results-based marketing. And a lot of the big brands are saying, you know what? I'm tired of paying Facebook all this money, especially when... There's controversy with Facebook right now um, as far as censorship or 
responsibility with the violence and stuff going on? What are they going to put up? So a lot of people are bailing. I, I put boycott because that's what it said in the article, but I don't know if they're boycotting Facebook as much as they're just shifting into a different platform that is more results based. And so that's what affiliate marketing is. And that's what I do is I promote how to make money on the internet, education, and how to make money on the internet, tools. That's the, the industry I'm working in now until the event industry opens back up again. Um, I think I'll continue to be an affiliate marketer because um, that's how I used to sell boot space for the expo. I, I would promote it and affiliate marketers would promote the $697 booth space and I'd pay them 150 bucks for doing so when they made a sale. So it's results-based compensation. And I think that's the way a lot of stuff are moving. Um, it's not about uh, you know just paying someone and hoping that they get the job done. It's finding people that are actually capable and have some responsibility and some confidence that they're gonna get the job done. Because if you don't make a sale, What's the point of being in business? You're gonna run out of money and you're not gonna be able to pay your rent. So that's the story, Morning Glory, as I say. Um, I also believe that this platform is supposed to have the capability of recording the, uh, the, um, the video. And then what I do is I propagate this up to another platform that's not Facebook and that's YouTube. And I do that because YouTube is connected with Google Google's a search engine, YouTube is a search engine, it's search friendly, and when I put in the right keywords, the right people find the right product, if that makes any sense. You know, there's no point in um, advertising um, discount steaks at a butcher shop to vegans and vegetarians. They're not gonna buy it. So it's not a, a good marketing strategy, if you will. <laughs> And there's no point in trying to sell liquor to alcoholics. Even though they're addicted, it's kind of unethical to try and get an alcoholic to start drinking alcohol. So why market to that audience? So the, the challenge with marketing things online, there needs to be a product market fit. Like what I did with the Event Planners Expo was people that provided services to ex, uh, event planners, they would exhibit in the show and the people that came to the show were event planners. So if they had a catering company or a uh, inflatable bounce house or a tent company or a limousine company or a casino or cruises on the lakes and the river for group sales, theater, the event planners would come in and they'd go, hey, that's something I could use to promote to my corporate groups for Target, Cargill, Medtronic, 3M, Honeywell, or my association of motorcycle drivers or my... Uh, my church group or whatever. And there's a mark, a product market fit. The product is the pro the services of the events and the market is the event planners and there's a connection and it's much more highly likely that they will buy. So that's what we can do when we go on to places like YouTube. Um, there's a lot of people out there that are getting, making money off of YouTube by trying to get views and they just do corny, crazy videos that get views and they get a small percentage. Um, you know, they make a, I don't know what the numbers are, but they make like 50 cents a view or something like that, or 10 cents or whatever. And it adds up when they've got 100,000 views on a video. That's why you see all these people doing crazy stuff like skateboarding and falling on the sidewalk and all the zany, nutty, crazy entertainment, if you want to call it that. I'm falling in more into the category of edutrainment. And that's where I'm educating, but I'm also training and I'm, ed I'm trying to be entertaining and fun also. So it's the best of all three worlds. So what else do I wanna talk about? I like the affiliate marketing model because of that. And um, I'm helping people with that. And I'm not the kind of guy that uh, sometimes what people will end up doing is they'll say, I'm gonna do all the work for you. That's uh, you can, if you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. If you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, that kind of thing. So I don't want to just give you leads and sales because you won't learn anything. I want to show you how to do this yourself so you can scale it up and maybe you want to shift niches or industries or passions or whatever. So what I do is I work with you and I help you. And I really don't have any classes to take. What I want to do is I want to work side by side with you and I'm setting it up with what's called a URL rotator so that 
when we're driving qualified traffic into the pipeline or into the funnel or into the offer, what this URL rotator does is it toggles between my link and your link and my link and your link and my link and your link and my link and your link. So that when people opt into that, that uh, automated sequence, they will be connecting on your link or my link, your link or my link, and we will both get sales as they come in. It's like one for me, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me, one for you. And the compensation, compensation structure in some of these programs it is not a multi-level marketing kind of thing where you put together a team and you get a teeny percentage of your you know, group of 5,000 team members. Affiliate marketing is a different model. It's more of a linear kind of thing. Sometimes there's two, two tiers. There's uh, the, the first tier and then the second tier is uh, like the people that I would work with. And the way that the compensation structure works on some of them is it's a, called a pass-up model. Some of them are percentages, percentage like 50%, 20%, 60%. But I'm working out a system where it's a pass-up where you get the first sale and I help you do that. I help you get the first sale on that. And then the second one goes to me because I helped you. Then the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and the rest of them go to you. So I have a financial incentive to work with you and help you make a sale. So that's the model that I'm trying to put together. And I'm trying, again, to keep it very, very simple. It's really, really hard, really, really hard to keep it real simple with all the different options and things. So that's all I've got for now. I'm going to sign this one off. I've been on for 11 minutes and 51 seconds. And appreciate you watching. And I'm going to beam this up to the universe and uh, pop it onto YouTube and LinkedIn and Periscope or uh, Pinterest and all those other platforms. So, peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad with the MagicBradShow.com. Appreciate you watching. And if you want to know more, you can contact me on Facebook Messenger or just rattle my cage. You'll find me. Okay. Thank you. Peace. Bye. Bye.